Hey guys, Pat Nintendo 79 here. Gonna bring to you guys today a first look on the Cobalt uh, rolling toolbox system. So uh, this is the three-piece system that you can buy at Lowe's Canada right now or Lowe's USA. Uh, and I think, you know, from what I've seen, I've been looking at boxes, at rolling boxes for a while. And this thing is on sale right now at $199 until November 1st. So it's like a new lower price in Canada. So $199, so it's the equivalent of $150 US or something. So it is, it is stupid cheap. So, well, cheap for what it is. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a pretty good box. And, you know, I'll show you guys the features, all right? So let me show you guys with one of the first features that uh, everybody wants to see is, can you remove the handle on the back? And yes, with this system, you can remove the handle on the back. So you have two little tabs on the back that, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but uh, let me just bring you guys closer. I just need to move my tripod here. So you have two little blue tabs there on the back right here that you pull out, click and click and this is going to be able to let you remove the handle so uh, let me show you guys right now how you how easily it is to remove the handle right so basically all you have to do is just pull and just it's going to click on the first spot because the clicking mechanism here locks into that handle and not with these little tabs these little tabs are just to prevent you from removing the handle so if you leave the tabs on, you won't be able to pull the handle any further, but there's a locking position that the metal bars lock into the handle. So, but that way you can remove the handle completely. And let me show you that. So what I'm saying is these are just to prevent, those little tabs there that pops out are just to prevent you from uh, removing the handle completely when you're pulling on the, uh, on the lever here. So they're just the first, uh, the first layer so but uh, the actual handle locks into some metal grooves here on the side of the handle so like the other um, like the other uh, toolboxes so it's uh, pretty strong so don't worry about you know having it pull on it it's not those little tabs that are gonna be uh, it's not those little tabs that are gonna support the handle when you're pulling on it so then you just press those tabs back and when you pull it, you pull a second time, you can't pull any higher, so. But once you let it fall, it's gonna lock back into place. And uh, you know, it just, when, you, when you're pressing on it, it's drop fall, it's drop shot. So this is really good quality, guys, so for the money. So wheels are eight inch wheels. So let me show you guys the wheels real quick. So eight inch wheels, uh, pretty large, pretty good wheels. Uh, better than the trade stacks from Craftsman and uh, just you know they're not nine inch and they're not as large as the Flex but the Flex is the flagship model and the Cobalt is just a tier lower so but in my opinion and from what you guys will be able to see I think this box has more potential than the Flex and it's just in my opinion just a little bit better than the Flex uh, for some aspects so other aspects you know for toughness and stuff like that. But this is this is the lower tier of the flex. So this is just one notch lower than the flex for, for the toolbox. So um, let's look at the first box. So on the top, let me, let me bring you guys closer. But on the top here, you have places for half boxes. So you uh, have some places where you can put some half box organizer on the top uh, box, the small box. And that's pretty nice. So you have also a little tab there to be able to put, uh, you know, a label or something. So you want to label your, your tools, uh, just like the Flex. So uh, this is like a copy of the Flex except for the mechanism. But the latching mechanism, I think, is just better. And is, you know, if you have to rank the tier of the latching mechanism, you have the Milwaukee Packout. You have the Clyde Mod, mod Box. They're essentially the same. Just the Milwaukee's got more feet than the uh, decline mod box. And then you have the other tier below. So that tier below engulfs a couple more boxes because there's, there's more boxes. So in my opinion, the tier below these two are Flex, DeWalt, Rigid, uh, Husky even, and Cobalt, and Craftsman, and all the others. But, you know, there's, there's tiers on these. And if I had to put in towards second and third place, I think second place I would put, to be honest, 
rigid because it's just metal wires. So it's just metal wires that flips up on the rigid and this is, you, your chance of breaking those are slim to none. The second one below that, I think would be the cobalt because the cobalt is just two tabs that you slide in and out. There's no spring mechanism, there's no nothing. There's a little notch in there so it just stays open and you know close, but it doesn't close automatically. You have to press on it and it's just, it's just simple. And if the box falls on something, look, I'll show you guys that right here, all right? So let me show you guys the latching mechanism. So when you open it, it is flush with the boxes. So if the box falls on the floor while the latch is open, it's not, it's not gonna hit anything. It might hit the latch a little bit, but it's just gonna close it. So, but it is flush with the box. So if it hits anything, it's gonna hit the box. So the latching mechanism, especially if it's closed, there's not a whole lot of thing that could damage it. And since it's locked in by, you know, being into the, the rough plastic here, you can literally lift the entire box uh, from those latches, uh, kind of like the Milwaukee Packout and a few others. Uh, let me just readjust my angle here. So, all right, so bear with me. The camera is not going to be uh, straight. But, you know, you could lift from these boxes here. You could just lift the entire box, even when it's full from the top box. I can, I can lift that or I can use the handle in the front here because the front box has a handle. And you could just lift that like that. And it's, you know, even when it's full, the, these latches are going to support uh, full of tools and pliers and hammers and stuff like that. Uh, these latches mechanism are really strong. So let's look at the first box, all right? So the first box, you have plenty of room for your hand. So let me just show you guys that real quick. Yoink. Just gonna put you guys here. And so you can look downstairs. So plenty of space for your hands. So your hand is not gonna hit the uh, the knuckle. And I, I got pretty large hands, maybe not the largest, but pretty large. So you got plenty of room, especially if you grab from the other side, uh, you're not gonna hit that top part here. No problem. Handles are nice and comfortable. So let's look at the latches, all right? The latches guys are uh, the same as the Flex. So th these are the same types of latches as the Flex, the Milwaukee and they just open up nicely and they're even stronger. I tried to flex a uh, stack pack and they just, they just snap a little bit stronger than the flex. The flex are just a little bit easier to open. So is that indicative of, you know, if it's going to stay uh, closed? No, I don't think so. You know, once it's latched in, I don't think it's going to open up. And one of the nice things, right? I, I got I to back you up a little bit. One of the nice things about this system compared to a lot of others that you can see is when you open it up, click like that, it stays open. So if you're just opening up like that, now there might be a breeze that's gonna force it back. It doesn't have a detent, all right? It doesn't have a detent that's gonna, you know, lock it in place. But while the handle is up, this thing is able to stay open. Right now it's on an uneven surface and it's even tilting forward a little bit. So, but it is able to stay open. So look, look, let me show you guys even the second box down here so yeah that one whoops no actually that's the last one but it's super easy to get back in there and just put it back click and just let's look at this one all right let's look at the middle box let's look at this one and boom even the middle box stays open with the uh the latch so you guys can see that pretty nicely all right click so it stays open even with the handle up so this is this is really nice guys so just putting the box they just fall into place and it's just a matter of just pushing those two latches on the side stupid easy so that's why this is this is a system that that a box system that's flying under the radar size wise i got i don't know if you guys will see my other video where i compare the uh, versus stack versus the trade stacks versus the cobalt versus you know just a quick uh f you know first impression video they are all on the uh, lowe's floor and stuff like that so you could just see the size difference this one guys comes with uh two organizer bin inside all right so two organizer bins inside and they're pretty large so these things are pretty large and they're going to be able to fit a lot of stuff with two dividers inside and they closes nicely and they're just fitting in there and they're just not moving right so these things are fitting in there and they're not moving so 
uh, pretty nice. So you get two of them. So same thing on the other side, dividers, put all your screws and stuff and everything you want. So when you're putting them in there, there's, you know, you could put them in the middle, you could put one in the middle, but you can only fit two in there because if you add a third one and you put it in the middle, it's gonna fit, but it's not gonna be as secure as this one on the end. So, so this is the first, the small box and the small box is pretty deep also. I mean, you could fit, look, this is, this is about the size that it fits in there. So this is about a couple of inches for sure so maybe like four inches five inches high that's pretty good so pretty good space in there i'll give you guys uh, more specs and more this is more of a first look video but i just want to show you guys that look at the lid look at the lid the lid is open even though the uh the handle is on the back so not any other boxes can do that and look here you got plenty of spaces so you can screw accessories inside and yeah guys let's look at the outside for a little bit before i go to the middle box all right so the outside of the box here look there's plenty of rooms and in this small uh, booklet that i got there's plenty of stuff to attach new attachment in the future here here on the side here uh, there's plenty all around the boxes so you can see here here so th there's all around the boxes this places where you can add accessories in the future so i'm seeing this box getting a lot of accessories in the future to be able to uh you know put levels on the outside put uh, there's a picture where they have an attachment here to put a wrapping cord and people are going to be able to 3d print like mounting solution very easily because it's just it's just something that you slide in so let me show you guys a little bit closer here so it's just a tab that you can slide something in there and it's just gonna it's just gonna stay in there and it's just gonna be able to uh to put some accessories and all kinds of mods and modification so you know this is like the baby flex but you know like i said i think it's flying under the radar a little bit because uh this thing is pretty nice pretty nice so let me see let me show you guys the middle box right now and what it comes with so you're getting you're getting a lot of value for your money to be honest with this box so so the middle box comes with two totes all right so these totes are pretty good size too so pretty good size tote you can fit a lot of stuff in there and trust me I've, I've played with it a little bit and I've put some stuff in there and there's plenty and it comes with two two totes all right so I'm guessing you're going to be able to buy some of these in the future, but with the word cobalt, and they're pretty big, pretty generous, and uh, you know it uh, it has plenty of room. So let me put that on the side and let's see how deep this box is downstairs. See the, the lid is open and the handle is the handle, the handle is back there. So how nice is that? So see the depth on the box. It's it's pretty much you know you look at the flex, you look at the Milwaukee. It's all similar size. It's 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 nitpicking. It's just you know millimeters, and maybe it'll, it'll make a difference for you. But you know, it just it there's plenty of space in there. I mean, this is pretty big. There's plenty of space in there. You got some space for some dividers. So if you got some plywoods or stuff like that that you want to put and use as a divider, you can do that. Uh, you know, you could divide horizontally like that. You could divide uh, vertically. Uh, a couple of places I see, you know, other than that, there's not any other special. There's some screws on the top here for the boxes so you could screw stuff in the future, I'm guessing. So uh, this is some places where you can add some accessories like the flex, you know, that you could screw some boxes and some mods to be able to put in there. I'm guessing this, this is coming in the future. But let's look at the large box on the bottom, right? The rolling box. The piece de resistance. All right, so let's close that one up. Let's open the two tabs, click, click. And let's open up this box, so big box. So let me just close that one up, just close one tab. And being able to put it there. So let's open this one up. And this one has a latch, you know, a hinge mechanism where it stays open and it's gonna stay hinged. So I'm just gonna close the handle because it's gonna give me a little bit more um, stability on the bottom since uh, my uh, asphalt is uneven a little bit. So it's gonna give me a little bit more stability. But this one has a hinge mechanism where it's gonna stay open. So here's the large box. So you have places for the wheels. 
Of course, that's going to take a little bit of room, but you could fit a sawzall in there. I got, I fit my rigid sawzall, a uh, circular saw, some drills, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, the sawzall, you're going to have to remove the blade, of course, but it's going to be like that for any toolboxes. But let me show you guys something, all right? So you remember those big coats here? So these things fits perfectly in there, and they fit just perfect. They don't rattle. They don't move around and these things are, you know, you could put them in the medium box or uh, I mean the large box or the bottom lo extra large rolling boxes. So, uh, well, I, I'm just going to call it the, the, bo the bottom one large, the medium, medium and the small one small. So, but yeah, guys, very cool. Comes with a lot of accessory, two totes, uh, two small bin organizers for the small one and a detachable handle i mean what more can you want for 199 canadian i mean right now the milwaukee uh you know uh the milwaukee pack out three piece set sells for uh 369 dollars i paid 199 so you could buy two of these boxes for the price of one milwaukee pack out of course the milwaukee pack out you're going to have options so that you could um you know, put some more attachments, some more boxes. There's a lot more accessory available is what I'm saying. But, you know, in the future, I'm betting Cobalt is going to come out with a shitload of accessories. If they're smart, they're going to come out with a shitload of accessories for that to be able to mod it out. Because right now, this is one of the better value boxes. If I had to put it between, you know, as a second tier, I mean, besides the Milwaukee Packout and maybe the Klein Mod Box, uh you know i think it would even be above the flex almost in terms of uh you know quality and just uh versatility i mean the flex got accessories the rails and stuff like that that you could put stuff in the future and they already got some mods that are already screwed in the top where you could uh, put your uh your little bit holders and stuff like that but is what I'm saying is this thing has potential and the way it's built right now with a removable handle that's already included, the price that it is, the two totes, the two uh, small bin organizers that come on the top. I mean, you, you're getting good value for your money right there. So it's, it's, uh, it's a no-brainer in my opinion. So you're, you're getting really good value. So with those two boxes that once are in there, they're not moving. I mean, you, you could just tilt that and they're going to stay in place. So those small bin organizers, but uh, it's just it's just a good system. The latching mechanism for the boxes, I think, is really smart. And I wish the flex would have been like that. They could have put a mechanism with spring loaded. But, you know, the only thing that could make this latching mechanism better, in my opinion, is if they made it out of metal. So if it's it for made out of metal, and you know metal reinforcement on the sides here and this thing was metal instead of plastic i think it would have had a winner so but you can already lift the boxes of course these boxes are, are empty right now but you could lift the boxes uh from you know just standing like that and just ho holding the boxes if i can close that one click click and this one you can lift the, the entire boxes and just uh, for, from the latching mechanism which is which is pretty cool. I mean, not, not a lot of other boxes you can do that. So uh, lifting and maybe the Milwaukee Packout, of course, but the Milwaukee Packout is just like top notch. And after that, you know, you're just going down. But the only other system for re removing the handle, I think that's better uh, than, than this one is the new Husky. I think the new Husky has a really strong latching mechanism with the uh, with the latches that are like the, the front of the box, you know, the wire uh, latches. And it's just simple, easy, you just unlatch that and you remove the entire handle assembly. And it's just super simple. So really, really simple design. And this one is not bad. The rigid one is not bad, but the rigid adds a little bit of width for the wheels. So the wheels are gonna be a little bit larger because you're removing the entire dolly from the boxes, uh, which you're going to be able to use the boxes as regular boxes without wheels. That's another plus, but you know, it stacks up pretty high in the mid tier. So this is a mid tier box because you got the Craftsman uh, versus tax and you know, the DeWalt and stuff like that, that are the older generation model, the Husky base version of, you know, not the build out, the, the previous one 
And this is like in the mid tier, I think is this is the top of the mid tier, you know, the, there with Rigid and Husky, those three, the new one, the new uh, Rigid 2.0 and the build out and the, the um, you know, Cobalt are all like, at that point is personal preferences and what it comes with for accessory wise. Uh, the new Rigid system is gonna be available in Canada. It's already announced on the Home Depot website it's gonna be available, but you're gonna to have to buy the box individually. And unless there's some deals or some sales, uh, this is the best value right now. At 199, this is way better value than, um, than the rigid 2.0 system. And you know, the wire, the latching mechanism, the only thing, look, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys, you know, every little nitpick, but the only thing is that it doesn't have any, uh, there's, ways to lock each box as individually with locks but it's just a hard plastic you know it's not it's not going to be uh let me show you guys a little closer but it, it's not going to be there's not going to be like any metal reinforcement which for me is no big deal because you know if you're locking your boxes on the job sites uh and you know somebody wants to get in there uh you know with today's compound pliers and bolt cutters and mini bolt cutters and stuff like that somebody can get in your box and you know, it takes two seconds. And even if you cut the middle part of the latching system here or something, it's just, it's just gonna be able to go in uh, pretty easily. So uh, there's lots of way to get in there. You just melt the plastic with a lighter around the, uh, the ring and you just open it up and just, uh, you know, it's, it's just, if somebody wants to get in there, it's not, it's not something that's gonna be uh, preventing people from, uh, from stealing from you, so. Uh, that's why I'm saying it's going to take a little bit longer. It's going to buy you a little bit more time, but you know, other than that. So another feature that I want to show you guys is on the bottom box here. So let me see if I can bring it up. There's a place to hook a small hook here on the bottom. And there is a place to hook a hook on the back here. So let me show you guys if I can lift it up. There's a place to hook a small hook right here on the bottom click 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 right there so you can hook something a bungee cord or something to be able to hook uh your your stuff and you can even hook it up through let me back it up a little bit so you can even hook the uh the hooks through the uh the padlock holes it's big enough so you're going to be able to hook it right here or you just hook it up in the front and just hook it up there, hook it up on the back, and you're just gonna be able to transport your box, uh, uh, some extra stuff on there, and to be able to latch it, so pretty cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video because I don't see anybody else doing videos on YouTube about the Cobalt uh, three box system, so the rolling toolbox, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up, that's always appreciated, that helps out my channel. And hopefully I'm going to be able to grow my channel to a point where it could almost be my full-time job because right now I might need a full-time job, you know, in the future. But that's a subject for another video. So uh, let me show you guys the middle box real quick. There is a handle on the middle box here. So and the middle box even have the, um, the half box size adapters. Let me see if the large box also has the middle. Uh, yep the large box also have the half box adapters. So all three boxes have half box adapters, but the middle box here, you have one big handle that you're, you're able to just lift the entire box. And you know, you on the larger box, you have also two handle on the sides here, which you just pull up like that. And you're able to lift the entire boxes with those two handles. So really good system guys so i've been looking at the systems and you know like i said i haven't seen a lot of videos but i've been looking at boxes for a while i've looked at the cobalt i've looked at the flex i've looked at the milwaukee and unless you get the milwaukee on sale this this you know unless you really really want the milwaukee uh you know th there's no advantage to getting the milwaukee except for the fact that you can have so many accessories and stuff like that and if you're in the trades and if you need it, but if you're a DIY or even just a guy on the job, but you don't want to spend too much for good quality boxes, the Cobalt is a really, really nice choice. I don't think you can go wrong with this box, uh, either with the Rigid or the new, um, the new uh, Husky build-out that's coming out. 
Uh, these three boxes are affordable, and this one comes with a lot of accessories, two organizer bin, two large tote, and you know all this stuff that it comes with is just is just pretty nice. I mean, uh, you get a lot of value for your money uh, with the detachable handle and stuff like that. It's just it's just a no-brainer in my opinion. So, like I said, thumbs up is always appreciated if you like this video. If you want to see more about this and you know maybe how much stuff can I can I fit in there. If you guys want to see a stair test, you know coming up and down the stairs fully loaded. Just let me know, and I'll uh, try to make it up, uh, make a video on on it, guys. So, uh, but you know, good system. Just go for it if you're in Canada. One ninety nine, really cheap, and uh, it's a good value, I think. And you can't go wrong. So, one of the best mid tier, you know, toolbox you can get, and even going up to the top tier. And I like the latching mechanism a lot more than other spring loaded that can break over time or that just. Uh, you know, or chintzy. This one is, like I said, the, the entire, um, the, you slide it in and it's just the entire pieces of plastic are sandwiched in between. And it's just, it's just logical. You know, this is stronger than a lot of other mechanism, including I'm missing the flex. So uh, the flex, the DeWalt and stuff like that. I'm just, I'm just thinking that the way it's made, the, the way it's simple build and it just slides in and it just locks into place. It just is just one of the stronger mechanism for mid-tier boxes, uh, you know, apart from the Milwaukee and the mod box and stuff like that. So, all right, guys, I've rambled for long enough, so I'm gonna leave you guys there, and just make sure to like, comment, subscribe. That would be appreciated, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.